Reyna would be coming in or something. I'd love Ooh, that. I would. Mm. In a different timeline, Rip. <laughs> in a different it, timeline. It's probably happening. If, if only Reyna had like a three syllable name, so we could say like, "Hey, Reyna," <laughs> <laughs> you know, something like that. I don't know. Ray Hachi. Ray Nachi. Ray Nachi. Ray Nachi. <laughs> But here we go, JDCR, Colonel Cake here in Jin's crib in his mind. Sense of consciousness. Let's go. All right, let's see what happens here. Colonel Cake obviously got this far. Let's see if he can take on JDCR. Ooh, this is the wall standing one into the one plus two throw. Breaks a layer of the, uh, the floor. Mm hmm. Nice block in the down four. Gets the wall but doesn't, not the wall but he wanted. Nice parry, but no can't can punish. A little bit too slow. I actually really like that. Can't kill here. Nice block. This is actually launch punishable. The trade. Man, without that trade, JD's in big trouble, actually. Yeah, able to get the one plus two destruction heat engager. But yeah, you're absolutely right. I feel like even though everybody knows it's the down four is minus 15, mm -hmm. I feel like not a lot of people is like just realize, oh, I can yeah. just launch that instead. It's, it's going to take some time, right? Yeah. We're talking about like 25, 30 years of people not being able to do that. <laughs> so a little bit of muscle memory to break. It'll be a while, but JDCR talking about muscle memory, able to low parry the down jab and steps on through to go to the next level here. To Gargle's perch. Man, he's trying to get those parries in. And Jen, if he can get the parries on Dragonov, can be super deadly actually. Mm -mm, trying to step on the down two, gonna close it out here. JDCR, quick two rounds. Jab straight, depraved savagery, able to break down, going to the deserts now. Barely any walls. Able to get the black wing uppercut. Here comes Dioki with a thrusted uppercut. Ooh! Regular hook fist drops the combo with a down forward two. Colonel Cake looking a little bit more confident now in his playstyle and his aggressiveness. Oh my goodness. JDCR doing the JCR things, but what a perfect sidestep out of the oh heat burst. Oh my gosh, but you need to know your off-axis combos. Yeah, that's so unfortunate. Tries to go to back one, two, and JDCR was absolutely ready and punished it with the back four, three heat dash. Very nice. Three rounds straight. And we saw like a couple of signs of opportunities there for Colonel Cake, right? Like he had the sidestep versus the heat burst. He went for some parries that were just a little bit too late. And if he got the parries, he gets like Can Can as a punch on it. Same thing, like if you're a Dragon Off player and you do a running two against a Jin player and they parry it, they get Can Can. So mm -hmm. it's risky for Dragon Off to do some of his bread and butter stuff. And against Colonel Cake specifically, you got to be uh, extra cautious as a Dragon Off main. And it looks like they rematch probably here. So they're probably going to have to go and kill each other, I'm assuming, unless they random. They might have random it. Looks like they random it. Yeah, it's definitely random now. Yep. It is completely acceptable. Mm -hmm. Goes for the Hail Slicer yeah, with the blue sparks too. JDCR is just whatever just frame there is, he's just he's just got it. Hail Slicer again. And also JDCR playing with no headphones on. That's uncharacteristic. It's a say that. tournament veteran, man. A lot of the stations, you know, you don't usually have audio, right? Like it's it's, it's very common when you go traveling to tournaments. So JD's a master. <laughs> In fact, look at the side steps though right now. I thought ignition switch was homing. Not against Jin, I guess. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> Colonel K was like, yeah, I got this. Hold on. All the way and finally gets around with a down back four. There you go on the board. Sometimes you just need one round to let you know that you can beat him. He is mortal after all. Mm -hmm. He bleeds his own blood. What? Oh, gets a counter hit and gets the thrust of the uppercut guarantees afterwards. No break on the counter hit. One plus two. And you know where we're going. Mm -hmm. That's a turn to a full launcher. Look at the damage on just the launcher part. <laughs> Takes away all the gray health too. That adds insult to injury. And he's going to get it. Well, they spend heater to make sure you give him the wall, too. Oh, oh my oh, god. Oh. That was off a throw. Down forward one. Doesn't fully release and just goes down two. Not down to back two. Sorry. That was crazy, though. He got 50% off a throw. Showed no hope there. Oh, doesn't go for the heat dash and no punish in the forward three, two. What a step again by Carl yeah. K, but no punish afterwards. I really like this Weibu Weibu attempt to do a down forward two. Mm -hmm. Thinking he's going to go ducking from the, uh, the electric. Right. Man, uh. JDCR timed that side step perfectly. Heat engage here for JDCR. Tries to go to back forward three. No duck that time. And nicely done to break the one plus two by JDCR. Depra Depraved Savagery able to get connected again. They're finally joining the deserts again. Four four three into the thrusted uppercut. And tries what? to go. Ooh. Did he mean to do that? I don't know. This could be trouble. 20 seconds left. He's you still got, got you heat. Can't hit, you can't block against JD like this. This is crazy. 
You gotta hit some buttons, brother. Don't hit some buttons. Yes, Ten more seconds. buttons, dude. Oh. Yes, buttons. If you're just trying to block against JSTR, you're going to lose like this against anybody, really. It's scary in Tekken 8. But Colonel K, two rounds to one here in game two. So you got one round away to make it even. Nice step. JDCR. Tries to go for the reset, the back 4 2 1. Now we're gonna reset with the heat engager real quick. Back 4 2, thinking it was gonna go back 4 3 heat dash, and here comes the tackle, and mm -hmm. he's gonna beat him down. Oh my gosh, he knew it was gonna be enough damage, and here we go. Set point JDCR. Survival point for Colonel Cake. Hail Slicer again. Uh, Colonel Cake not ducking the back 4 2 this time. Electrics, tries to go what? into the laser scraper string. Back forward two gets connected one more time. And nicely done to step out of the demon pot and punish it down forward two. JDCR is doing clinical work against Colonel Cake. And that was all because that latest patch, right? Demon pot range a little bit less, easier to sidestep. So JDCR just out of range of that one. And now looking to close it out and move on out of pools on the winner side of the bracket. Nicely done for JDCR, knowing that Colonel Kick was trying to twitch duck either if it's like a hail slicer down down two or even generic down four, and JDCR really noticed that, so he's gonna keep it calm, wait for the time.